Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the components of the defrost system which are part of the fresh food evaporator in the Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of side cutters, and a few zip ties. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator assembly with a defrost heater attached to it. The main reason why the refrigerator defrost heater would need to be replaced is because it burns out, causing the evaporator to freeze over. Unfortunately, the defrost heater is not available by itself. It comes as a part of the refrigerator evaporator assembly and should be separated from the evaporator coil. The complete changeover of the evaporator assembly will require hiring a professional appliance repairman, but unless there is a problem with the evaporator coil, you don't need to replace it. To get this job done, we need to start with opening the fresh food door. Remove the shelves by pulling them and lifting the rear ends at the same time. Next, we are going to pull out all the drawers and the moisture control covers. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screw in the center. Remove two air filter covers. Pry out the top cover with a flat blade screwdriver. Take out this Phillips screw, open the cover and unplug both connectors. Simply press the locking tabs on the side of the plugs. And then, using the Phillips screwdriver, remove these two mounting screws. Move down and take out two Phillips screws in the middle and two holding the water tank. Carefully lay the tank on the bottom and then remove two screws at the very bottom of the cover panel. Remove the cover assembly. Careful when removing the cover not to damage the insulation too badly. Unfortunately, it's no longer available. And now we will get to the workable surface and remove the defrost heater from the new evaporator assembly. Peel off the aluminum foil and remove the two pieces of the insulation. Please be careful with the aluminum fins, they are pretty sharp. Using the side cutters, cut the zip ties off. and remove the sensor and the thermal fuse. Using the flat blade screwdriver and the needle nose pliers, bend open the tabs at the bottom that holds the heater. Using the needle nose pliers, open all the tabs holding the heater. Be patient, there is a whole bunch of them. And finally, when all the tabs are bent open, push the heater coils up and remove the heater from the bracket. Work it out from the evaporator.
that's how the defrost heater looks when it's by itself. Now, when you know how to do it, let's get back to the fridge and repeat the procedure with the old heater. Using the side cutters, cut all the zip ties off. Be careful, do not damage the wire harness. Take a picture of how everything is connected and then, using the flat blade screwdriver, open the bracket and remove the defrost sensor. Push on the locking tabs to unplug the three connectors and remove them. By the way, these plugs are different and you can't make a mistake connecting them back. You can discard the old sensor and fuse and use the ones from the new evaporator assembly. Bend open the strap on the side. Using the needle nose pliers, open all the tabs holding the heater. Using the flat blade screwdriver, carefully, with a minimum damage, bend open the tabs at the bottom that holds the heater. Free the old heater from the bracket by pulling its coils out of the grooves one by one. Slowly pull the bottom of the evaporator from the rear wall to release it from the mounting clips behind. Carefully lift up the bottom of the evaporator just far enough to remove the old heater from under the evaporator. And who said it's going to be an easy repair? This is the old defrost heater next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it as a part of the evaporator assembly at appliancepartspros.com. Now we are ready to install the new defrost heater. Work it into the evaporator bracket. Slide the bottom of the heater under the tabs and secure the tabs using the needle nose pliers. Continue with installing the new defrost heater into the evaporator bracket. Bend to close the tab on the left. Push the heater into the grooves and using the needle nose pliers, bend back all the tabs on both sides of the bracket. Install the thermal fuse and secure it with a zip tie. Zip tie the new defrost sensor harness on the top of the evaporator and then clip the sensor on the copper line. Bundle the wire harnesses together and secure it with the zip ties. Install the zip tie on the left side of the evaporator and another zip tie on the top. Slowly, Push the evaporator until it backs into the plastic clips mounted on the rear wall. You can see them through the fins. Plug the connectors into the corresponding outlets.
Slide the two pieces of the insulation in and tape them with the foil. And now we can install the evaporator cover assembly. Install the two bottom screws. Install the water tank and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Move up and install four screws. Connect the two harness plugs. The green goes on the right, the white goes on the left. Put the cover on and secure it with a screw. Place the top cover Push to lock the tabs Install both air filter covers And secure it with a Phillips screw Install both moisture control covers. Install the drawers. Put back the shelves by sliding them on the side rails. And now we can close the door Plug the fridge back in and check if it's cooling down. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.